Hey everybody, welcome back to the Professor's Dugout. I hope you are having a great day and a great holiday season. Merry Christmas Eve to everybody out there uh, doing some last minute Christmas shopping. Prepare for um, tomorrow. And I was able to pick up one of these. These are the Series 1 Hockey Tins. I picked this up at Walmart for $30. Comes with, uh, what is it? I think it's 10 packs. Yeah, 10 packs. Um, plus, um, you get these three Opeachy Glossy Rookie cards. So I'm going to be, this is going to be interesting to see. Searching for, you know, obviously the young guns, particularly Alexis Lafreniere. Let's see if we can get something good. Maybe a nice early, you know, right before Christmas treat. Let's see how we do. So there wasn't much in retail. There was some Tops update. Um, I really didn't particularly want that. Um, in this, we sh you know, you get... Are the odds on here? Yeah, the odds are on here if you want to freeze that. The main thing here is the young guns at one in four. Everything else is kind of harder to hit. Uh, we should get one, maybe two UD canvases, but hopefully, maybe we get lucky and we can get three. You know, three young guns out of this so opening this up it's a nice tin featuring connor mcdavid Let's see that you get let's see here one two three four five on this side and one two three four okay so one of the packs one of the so-called packs is the Opeachy Glossy Cards. So we'll open that one at the end. That looks kind of interesting. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and can get an Alexis Lafreniere in this. I have no idea. I haven't even looked at the checklist for that. But let's, let's start with these nine packs of Upper Deck. Now, Upper Deck Hobby, you, should, you, you always can get... Um, some form of insert in in a pack but with retail you can get base only packs that's one of the drawbacks to this but the odds if you're the main thing you're looking for is young guns retail is kind of the way to go because the odds are pretty much the same and we got our first it's a goalie didn't even waste any time i might not go through a lot of the a lot of the base cards so we got curiel Ustamenko for the Phillies. Obviously, that's not a great one to get. You can kind of see those stats for Lehigh Valley. Not so hot. Um, and more importantly, this is a... Uh, Philly is pretty much set on their on their goalie situation for the next uh, several years with Carter Hart. So not the best one of these to to pull right away. Maybe this is a sign that we'll get something better. Honestly, we can't do much worse than that one. Um, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe get one of the Robertson boys or obviously the Alexis Lafreniere. Connor Murphy. Here's a canvas of Anze Kopitar. Not so bad. Jonathan Taze. Okay, next up. like just a base pack yep 
But like I said, that's all you can normally that's you can get those in in retail is those base only packs. I don't think you can get much of the other interesting stuff. Uh, I don't think French versions you can get acetates um, or even photo variations. Well, we got a uh, UD porch portraits of Patrice Bergeron. Nope, base pack. At least we did get a McDavid great base. That's not so bad. There's a Philip Zadina. We got a canvas of Jeff Skinner. Still looking for one more. One more Young Guns, here it comes. It is Gustav Lindstrom. Oh, we got a second. We actually have, uh oh, I don't think I've seen one of, is that orange or is that gold? That looks like, it. I'm not sure. What color that is? That must that must be what they call orange. Uh, Mitch Marner, actually, that's not so bad. The we'll go back to the young gun in just a second. Two. There we go. I'm gonna have to look, do a little bit of research on the dazzlers, and what colors are hard to hit. Here we have Gustav Lidstrom. This is not a bad one to have. Could be a top, maybe, a, I don't know if he'll ever make it to be kind of a top pairing, but certainly a, um, kind of this second line defenseman, I think uh, it's certainly reasonable for, for, uh, for Lindstrom. Chester can UD portraits, Jake Evans, rookies. Okay, last pack. Let's see if we can get lucky and get that third young gun. Um, doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Looks like it is. Wow, that's. I don't know if you can tell. There is a massive crease in that one. Oof, in that McKinnon. That's too bad. Can win somebody, somebody else. But fortunately, it's just a base card. It's not in one of the young guns. All right. Let's see what's in this Opeachy Glossy Pack. I have no idea what comes in these things. If there's... Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any parallels or anything. But who knows? You can let me know in the comments below. Let's see if we get something interesting. Oh, so they do have... So these do have a glossier feel than Opeachy. And we did get a decent one to start. That's... Uh, Jason Robertson. Next one is uh, Jason Robertson Gold Parallel and a uh, Liam Foudy. So let's take a look at this gold. Is that? And the centering's not so great. At least top to bottom. Left to right doesn't look too bad. It's not numbered. But hey, it's a gold parallel. And actually, I don't, like I said, 
in terms of you know some of the people that I'm looking for you know the Nick Robertson and Jason Robertson are two two of the ones I'm looking for overall so there you have it folks this is a this is a tin of you know the Walmart tin of 2020-2021 Upper Deck Series 1. What do you think about it? You know, like I said, I think it's a good way to get some rookies. And honestly, you know, I don't mind the look of these glossy Opeachy cards. So, you know, they have a much nicer feel. You know, Opeachy has kind of that classic, like, old-time sort of cardboard cardboard feel. These have a much nicer, glossier look. And hey, you can get gold parallels out of them too. So that's kind of interesting. So I'll have to maybe do a little bit of research on this to see what's, um, what might be interesting. But, you know, getting the two Robertsons, not so bad. You know, the Young Guns, well, Ustamenko, meh. But at least uh, the, the Gustav Lidstrom, um, I think you know, he's got a chance to be uh, pretty decent. And we got a nice Mitch Marner Dazzlers orange. I think these are orange. Um, if I look at the, the odds, this one is, these are like 1 in 10 packs. So you should get one Dazzlers per per 10, basically. Um, and then obviously we got a bunch of base and a few other inserts. So feel free to leave a comment below. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching, everybody. I know it's Christmas Eve, but if you if you watch it on Christmas Eve, I certainly appreciate it. And I hope you and your family have a great Christmas and the rest of the holiday season. Uh, this might be my last uh, video till, you know, maybe in the new year. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a mail day on, on Sunday. It kind of depends on if I have uh, what the family's doing and what we might be doing with with the kids, but certainly to you and to yours, Merry Christmas, stay safe out there, and I will see you later.